guys, welcome back. It's Grim Reaper for another video for Real Shadows. Today we have a live arena takeover about to happen right now on the account we're going to be giving away on the 23rd of April on my Twitch channel. So again, a few of you have been asking, let's do a live arena on this and stuff like that. So I've been doing my best to come in with this and uh, talk about my um, live arena. So first of all, am I enjoying Live Arena? Yes, I enjoy Live Arena. Is it challenging? Yes, it is. It's meant to be challenging content. That's what the game needs. Uh, what's the downsides of um, Live Arena at the moment? The downsides are the glitches, the crashing, which we've all experienced on my stream last night on my account. Um, that's how I've lost so many on my account. Uh, it's a bit frustrating, but it is what it is. Uh, another thing as well, the time consumed and uh, the trolls and stuff like that. I haven't experienced much myself of that, but I also have seen quite a few screenshots uh, and stuff like that, people trolling and stuff like that. Um, do I think it'll get better? Yes, I think it'll get more interesting as we go into the gold tier. And I think there is a few players now that are nearly making our way uh, into the gold tier. So that is something that we all uh, definitely will find out more and will get more interesting. So we're gonna go into the replay for this. We're just gonna show you the battle log. I'm not gonna show you all the battles because I did 15 battles a day on this. So as you can see, I have lost quite a few um, and stuff like that. Uh, I didn't see any bots myself personally, but um, but yeah, I, I haven't met any bots. I haven't seen any bots. I've won the battles fairly and uh, squarely, right? Um, the one thing I would say is quite frustrating is we had two people here. It was the same. This guy had a really nice account. There was nothing I could really say bad about him. This guy beat me fair and square. Uh, and then this guy again met up with me and yeah uh, a bit frustrating for sure seeing the same people uh, if you lose you definitely don't want to see the same people especially when it's back to back so hopefully I didn't lose <laughs> my apologies um, hopefully we didn't lose the bots so let's go into replay uh, we did have to start off really well actually so <coughs> Um, I'll show you the, the gear and the champion shortly. Again, we're not going to go after all of them. So as you can see, I'm, I'm organizing the champions and we got Ultimate Death Knight up against me. I think we've seen Ultimate Death Knight against myself quite a few times. I was also running Ultimate Death Knight today. I don't know I tend to run it on my main account, but um, it certainly can be uh, good uh, if you don't have a stacked uh, account, right? So, as we can see, he doesn't have the best champions. This is the first ever time we're doing it. Uh, we have a serial Bothigary. Uh, definitely an interesting selection of champions. Uh, and as you can see, he's picked a Duchess. And I've blocked out his um, ultimate UDK, I think. And then he's blocked out my UDK as well. So, uh, oh, it was Brognin de Priest. He, he blocked it up. So, and we have Duchess, uh, a seer. I'm not really worried about, um, but surprisingly, Trunda can be quite difficult against Rodas. So, he definitely has a faster uh, Trunda, which was a little bit concerning. Uh, and then we got stunned. So, yeah, my race was bigger, badder, and stronger. That's where we are. And obviously, Sifi revived, so that swung away the advantage for me. Uh, so we was actually using three nukers. Uh, Rodis was obviously the first person on team sheet. Trunda and then Bagmar, depending on where he was going with his team selection or where people were going with their team selections. So as you can see, we win pretty easily here. GG, good job, right? Um. Uh, and I think we rebuild his Trunda right about now. Um, 
which I think is the case. Mm, let's just uh, skip this bit for, for now. Uh, okay, cool. So this is number two fight. Uh, it does take a bit of time to select your champion, to be honest. And you can see I changed my time, my mind a few times. I blocked a UDK, um, and he also blocked out my UDK. So uh, wasn't bad actually. I did 15 fights within 51 minutes. Uh, we won like nine out of 15 which honestly wasn't awful i don't feel so uh bear in mind this account is not the most stacked account we don't have like the luxuries of having duchess and pythium and my to you go <sighs> and my to you go and stuff like that so that's something that would um it's a bit frustrating so yeah okay so let's me explain my team theory here so we have someone that can cleanse but increase defense up increase attack and strength and which is Mfala right great champion so I made sure she was the fastest you wanted Brognin to Paris the second fastest to put his block buffs up and his shields which stack on top of uh, a shield set as well we have then Aronis which is quite fairly fast we want him to open with his A2 to extend the HP from the passive. So then his A3 will allow him to do more damage. Uh, and then with Magmar, Magmar was just basically a second choice nuker who has fairly good survivability uh, as he's a HP as a HP base champion. We didn't really have a strong Cannon as a second choice Nuka on this account, so that's something that we was bearing in mind. Um, sorry, I've got the phone going as well. So yeah, uh, we won. We won the fight in the end. Uh, we're just gonna speed this up. Okay, so uh, he didn't actually take a nuka this time. He only took one nuka. So Nathan, if you're watching this, please make sure you take two nukas. Um, I actually banded his nuka, and it looked like his Mafala maybe it was built for damage because she nearly killed us. But it could also be a case of maybe um, the hex and then with the defense down, she was able to do a bit more damage. So. That would explain a bit more. We didn't get to chance to one shot Arbiter because we did have a decreased attack on us, so that's something that we'll bear in mind. Uh, and it took Mufala away from us. I think Mufala, out of everyone, was banded the most. Uh, we definitely did struggle with Mufala when Mufala got banded. Uh, and when they banded certain champions, it really had uh, a big effect on us, right? So. Um, yeah, it's uh, definitely it's something to take in as a consideration. Um, so the fight goes on. I do win this in the end, but it was a slow one because it's quite tanky. He has got Necrit and stuff like that. Um, but in the end, Nathan left the battle, which was fairly fine. And then we have number two, which was Donny. We also won this one as well. He did have the rat. The rat got. Um, I was a little bit worried about this team, if I'm honest. Uh, I think I banded UDK again here, which I did, like so. And he banded my Rolus, right? So um, it was a bit more of an interesting fight. I was a little bit worried about the rat, but um, he got sheeped, which was only 5% chance of being sheeped. Uh, from Brogni because he doesn't have fits of presence or anything like that uh, as mastery so really surprising me that he got sheeped because like only one person has a blessing in his team uh, as you see we get through the fight very quickly uh, and then we beat Donny again these accounts weren't that challenging as well so that's something to bear in mind and then we had uh, we also won this one as well 
I think this one was probably a little bit easier if I remember rightly. Um, yeah, so we had the piggy, our retro draft and stuff like that. So again, nothing to really worry about. We didn't really use my magma as much, but we did use Trender quite a bit, um, which is something that we'll uh, take in mind. He had one stone skin here. Um, I definitely when they took like one or two uh, nukas, it definitely made it easier for me to win when I was only blocking one of my nukas. So it was actually an advantage if they blocked out Rodus or if they blocked out um, um, Rodus or, or Trunda, right? So ideally I wanted to block Trunda um, because Rodus is just a different species. Um, end of the day when it comes to live arena it's definitely up there. It's one of the top five uh, champions right now for live arena and even in platinum arena he's definitely up there as meta right now so it's definitely something to take in consideration and by the way I think dragon as well is probably one of the best nukers in the game as well to take for live arena I'm really impressed with his kit as well so um, if you do have him I would probably think about maybe taking him but you do need to take increased defense with uh, defense nukers right uh, I've been playing with a few defense nukers myself for live arena uh, the damage hasn't been there sadly but the survivability has um, so I've been able to survive long enough just not being able to um, to uh, finish the deal right um, Okay, so I think yeah. So we we witness one here. Uh, I ban I banned Leo if I remember correctly, and then this was a fairly easy fight for me. Um, they banned Rodney. Oh they, yeah, okay. So banned Rodus, which was fine, um, and I was able to nuke him really really fast. I think this was probably like the fastest fight that we did. Um, again, Magma is an amazing nuker, right? It's probably one of the best champions in the game as nuker. Defense down doesn't really hurt him. Attack up down doesn't really hurt him. Um, so really good, um, like vibes on him. Uh, this is where Mafala earns some money when we get CC'd, uh, and she will cleanse us and just give us like a whole new board game. Uh, again, cardio um, doing her thing. She's way too fast for this team uh, and outruns her stones getting so it kind of opens it up for me to hit him with an AoE quite easily. Uh, Brogan into Priest with shields up and then I'm just waiting for that A2 nuke from Magma which is a double hitter uh, and we get him pretty much straight away. 50 second fight lovely jubbly uh no more said right bisoptus is not a amazing champion either was one of my first legendaries on my account and he's pretty much lived in the vault for three and a half years so uh this guy did beat me so i'm not gonna sit here and bore you with this um as you can see he has a very stacked and uh, his mortimer carb so there's like a six star blessing on a few champions and then uh, we actually got him again straight afterwards so it was like I just instantly quit save my time and come back um, sadly it was one of them ones uh, I think one guy had like a two trunders one was a plus two and then the other one had a soul soul blessing on it as well um, yeah, so this guy was had a Baron, obviously Baron is notorious to be amazing. Um, I think Baron's probably really good down these lower ends. I personally don't run my Baron in, in this competition um, at the moment. It uh, might be something that I'll start doing in the future. For me, he's just a bit um, fragile for higher live arena and I've actually favoured my Yannicka 
over him as a second choice nuker, right? So, um, obviously Rose is my first choice. So, yeah, um, this team was really effective against me. Did a AOE freeze. Basically, CC'd me like a absolute treat. Now, we don't have sheep, so he doesn't need to worry about CC me. Um, the one thing that I would like to bear in mind is if you are... Um, if you're going up against a very heavy sheep, sheep side with AoE, um, just bear in mind that Freeze could actually possibly hurt you, right? Because you'll lose all your debuffs and everything and possibly not be able to use a champion for two turns. So that's something to bear in mind. I personally don't use <clears throat> these champions myself. Uh, Death Rise, we do beat. Um, I think this was probably the one of the last wins, if I'm not mistaken. Um, not really challenging, no. Uh, I did block um, Herbie because Herbie is like extremely difficult. He hits really hard and he's beat me a few times on my main account. Um, so it's something that I keep an eye out, right? Um, in classic arena, he doesn't actually give me any difficulties at all. I just know I go the bolster sets, but if someone um, picks a champion that has a bolster set on, I'm in fairly trouble. And he also hurts with two nukers as well. So even if he hits you once, it still only really hurts. <clears throat> um, so yeah, uh, we pretty much like one shot the team into the ground. The revive, we one shot them back in the ground again. Uh, I think Rose actually gets really lucky here with the A1s. He gets extra turn and we're able to mop it up fairly well. Uh, and so, so yeah, Rose goes in on the A3, we get extra turn, we do the A1, we get extra turn, right? <laughs> so, um, that's just Rose for you, you know, like Rose is really good, he's only a single nuka. And I think there's there should be many nukas that should get extra turns. I think there is quite a few single base target nukas out there. I feel a little buff would be great. For example, Annie, right? She's really squishy. She is really hard. She just had like extra uh, turn ability in her kit. So I think she could be really fun and become meta very quickly. So hopefully Playman is watching this and actually kind of takes this bit of feedback and works on it, right? So yeah, so after this, we pretty much lose the rest. We do do the 10 extra. Um, but it is what it is. We're just going to look at our win rate very quickly. So yeah, we um, probably lost a little bit more than I said at the beginning actually. We played 15. Yeah, we probably won about 8, 8 or 9. Um, so yeah. Uh, so I think someone's just made gold to Bobby, which is Iki Rats. There's a nice big chunky lead up there, 2000. No, it's 2000 Silver Force. So no one's made gold just yet. There's a big point difference between gold four. Uh, so silver four and gold one, right? It's big, big point, point difference, and huge point difference from here to here as well. So, be interesting to see how good these chests are. We need to get to five because right now I've just had a bag of trash as well on my main account. So we'll see. Okay, so let's go into the build. Uh, okay, so. Um, we're gonna go into my father's build first. We rebuilt basically six champions today, five champions. So we're looking for like good accuracy and resistance for the passive, as well as trying to maintain some HP and defense and speed as well. So it's bear in mind we're only in bronze three right now for classic arena, so we've lost a lot of stats, like 21% from gold five. Uh, so that's actually hit our counts pretty hard um, So yeah, um, we're gonna go through this build very quickly um, And try and make this quick as possible This should be six piece stone skin, but I don't actually have any defense or HP um, Chest in stone skin yet for this account it only has resistance so we went stats over sets right which we say all the time 
so we want him slow as possible uh, and then anything we want then is defense and HP definitely will be way higher when he is back in gold 5 um, then we're gonna go to Brogni Underpriest which is the only champion who had a blessing which was the sheep right so that's something we took into consideration we just basically went good speed and HP everywhere and he's one of masteries now I went with extra life extra HP for the shield set you could actually go with bolt work if you're not running ultimate death knight I think you only need to run one bolt work mastery because that's how it works right so you don't I don't feel like you need more than one in there so that's why we went with that uh, so we're gonna go over Rodus, which was the main damage dealer there's his masteries his gear is not amazing so it was something to really think about um, and at the end of the day we've still got the savage his tax really low his HP is really low everything's really low but um, right now the classic arena is not really giving him anything you probably get way more than that once you get to like the top of the tree right and again Trunda hardly of anything uh, definitely could do with some work so um, I don't think even I know the, the Great Hall is not even maxed out at the moment uh, within HP and defense so that's something as well that you, you could take into consideration that will give him more survivability stats once it's done so this this great hall is nearly max but not max yet so yeah and then the last champion is actually magma who we built mass street uh, so I got mass Street on ultimate death knight magma and uh, life bane overnight when I finish the stream to get this video done these are the main mass Street that I know I take for nuka sometimes I do take shield breaker over heart of glory depending on how i'm feeling or what set of champions i'm using for or anything like that so yeah all right there we are guys hopefully you like this video hopefully we give you a lot of information uh you've seen a little bit of a showcase for um for this uh, video towards the account that we're giving away on the 23rd of april which will be on my Twitch channel, Grim Reaper TV Raid. Uh, hopefully this is helping you in Live Arena. Let me know down in the comments and how you're enjoying the, the arena yourself and if there's any other strategies or champions that I'm sleeping on that I should try in Live Arena or you'd like me to try and we'll see if we can make these videos possible. Um, definitely gonna have more videos coming out on Live Arena. I'm enjoying the content myself um i'm just waiting for these glitches and stuff to kind of just sort itself out before i'm releasing more videos on this uh topic uh and again please remember if you like my content it really does help the channel if you subscribe to the channel uh like and comment as well uh until then peace